Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain skin effect with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I'll explain basics of skin effect. After that, I will derive equation of skin depth. And at last, I'll discuss about parameters of skin depth. So let us start this video with first agenda. That is basics of skin effect. First of all, one should know what is skin effect. See, skin effect explains that the conductive energy of EM wave stays on the skin of conductive material. Means, energy of EM wave with conductive material stays on the surface. Let me take few examples. Like here, we have cross section of conductor where with this first conductor, we are having EM wave with signal of 1 kilohertz. At that time, you can observe here more energy that is staying on the skin. And as you go inside, energy of EM wave that is decreasing. But as you increase frequency with 100 kilohertz, you can observe more energy that is staying on the skin. And if I further increase the frequency, then you will be observing higher energy that is staying on the surface of this conductive material, right? So from this diagram, one thing is very clear. Like as you increase the frequency, more energy of EM wave that stays on the surface of conductive material, right? And what is skin effect? Skin effect explains that the energy of EM wave that stays on the surface of conductive material. To understand that, what I'll do is I'll derive equation of skin depth. So to derive equation of skin depth, I'll be using equation of EM waves. See, with EM wave, if you talk about electric field, then electric field is E0 into E to the power minus alpha Z sine of omega t minus beta Z and Ix is mentioned. What it means? It means this EM wave that is propagating in the direction of z-axis and oscillation of electric field that is happening with respect to x-axis, right? Now here, if you carefully observe, see amplitude portion that is E0 into E to the power minus alpha z. What it means? It means amplitude of electric field that is decreasing with respect to attenuation constant alpha. See, if alpha is something, if alpha is something, then this amplitude that will decrease with respect to z. z is direction of propagation in z axis, right? To understand this, let me explain that with respect to free space and conductive medium. Here, what I'll do is, I'll be explaining propagation of electric field inside free space as well as inside conducting medium first and one should know with conducting medium sigma is not equals to zero sigma is conductivity right so but obviously with conducting medium sigma is not zero conducting medium could be of copper or it could be of aluminium right it it can be a conducting medium where sigma is not equals to zero now here as i have told you we are considering electric field which is oscillating with respect to x-axis. So here we have x-axis and this electric field that is propagating along the z-axis. So here electric field that will be propagating in the direction of z. So this is z-axis you can observe, right? Now there are a few basics that you should know. See in free space, alpha is zero. With free space, this value of alpha is zero. What it means? It means, amplitude of oscillation that will remain constant. Ideally, it will remain constant and minimum attenuation will be there. For free space, alpha is 0. So, this much portion which is E0 into E to the power minus alpha Z which will be E0 only, right? While inside conducting medium, we have alpha that is based on sigma. That even I will explain you in this video. So, with free space, oscillation amplitude will remain constant but inside conducting medium oscillation amplitude that will decrease let me show you how 
you can observe with free space here amplitude oscillation that is constant right its value is e naught but inside conducting medium it is decaying over here and that is decaying as per e naught into e to the power minus alpha z right so here on the surface you will be observing amplitude is e naught right and it is decreasing with respect to propagation of signal now based on decay in amplitude there is a definition of skin depth let me explain that see when amplitude of signal decreases to 1 by eth times of its initial amplitude at certain depth that depth is skin depth like you see here we have amplitude that is e naught at certain depth let us say here we have amplitude that is e naught by e then this is the depth which is delta that is skin depth so here amplitude is decaying and it is getting e naught by e where e naught is initial amplitude so maximum amplitude that is staying on the surface and as you go inside conducting medium amplitude is decreasing at certain depth it will become 1 by eth times of its maximum initial value that depth is skin depth right to derive this equation this value that should be e naught by e so here we have e naught into e to the power minus alpha z where z is delta at that time this value that will become e naught by e right so instead of z i have placed delta at that time this magnitude will become e naught by e this e naught is getting cancelled so one can say e to the power minus alpha delta that is equals to e to the power minus 1 and if you take natural log at both of the sides you will be getting delta that is 1 by alpha right so skin depth that is reciprocal of attenuation constant in my last video i have derived attenuation constant for lossy medium lossy medium means conducting medium if you go through that video then you will be observing this equation attenuation constant that is square root of mu sigma omega divided by 2 that i have derived in my last video now if you substitute this alpha in this delta equation then you will be getting delta that is square root of 2 divided by mu sigma omega so this is skin depth right and see this skin depth that explains on the surface we have maximum amplitude of em wave and as you go inside that amplitude is decreasing right and if you increase the frequency what will happen if you increase the frequency then value of delta that will decrease right that i have earlier told you now what i'll do is i'll explain you parameters of skin depth so as basic equation is skin depth is equals to square root of 2 divided by mu sigma omega where sigma is conductivity and this skin depth that is based on mu sigma and omega if you increase the frequency but obviously this delta will decrease as per proportion of 1 divided by square root of omega if you increase conductivity sigma then also this skin depth will decrease as per the proportion of 1 divided by square root of sigma right here this sigma is reciprocal of resistivity so one should know sigma is equals to 1 by rho if you place that then you will be having equation of skin depth that is square root of 2 rho divided by mu omega right and these are very essential equation which you can use it to solve many questions for competitive examinations in gate bark isro as well as in ugc net examination you will be observing there are many equations that is coming based on this equation so you should understand this and based on that you can solve many questions as well i hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is skin effect and what is skin depth still if any query is there just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video